is it possible to be allergic to water? Hello and welcome back to my channel this is why the fact not coming to all of you with a brand new video. Aquagenic urticaria is a rare condition in which urticaria, hives, develop rapidly after the skin comes in contact with water. Regardless of its temperature, it most commonly affects women and symptoms often start around the onset of puberty. Some patients report itching too. It is a form of physical urticaria symptoms are. Aquagenic urticaria is a rare condition in which itchy urticaria, hives, develop rapidly after the skin comes in contact with water. Regardless of its temperature the hives associated with aquagenic urticaria are typically small. Approximately 1-3 mm, red or skin colored welts, called wheels, with clearly defined edges. The rash most commonly develops on the neck, upper trunk and arms. Although it can occur anywhere on the body, some people have itching too. Once the water source is removed, the rash generally fades within 30 to 60 minutes. Causes are. The exact underlying cause of aquagenic urticaria is poorly understood. However, scientists have proposed the following theories. A substance dissolved in water enters the skin and triggers an immune response. In this theory, the hives are not caused by water. Specifically, but rather an allergen in the water. An interaction between water and a substance found in or on the skin generates a toxic material. which leads to the development of hives. Inheritance. Most cases of aquagenic urticaria seem to occur sporadically in people with no family history of aquagenic urticaria. However, familial cases have been reported on several occasions, with one report describing the disease in three generations of a single family. Some familial cases have been reported in association with other conditions. Some of which can be familial. In other words, the family members who had aquagenic urticaria also had another potentially inherited medical condition. However, to our knowledge, no specific inheritance pattern has been definitively associated with aquagenic urticaria. Diagnosis a diagnosis of aquagenic urticaria is typically suspected based on the presence of characteristic signs and symptoms.
A water challenge test may then be ordered to confirm the diagnosis. During this test, a compress of 35 degrees Celsius water is applied to the upper body for 30 minutes. The upper body is chosen as the preferred site for the test because other areas. such as the legs, are affected less commonly it is important to tell the patient to not have any antihistamines for several days before the test. In some case reports, rinsing specific areas of the body with water or giving a direct bath and shower challenges has been attempted. Use of these tests may be needed when the usual water challenge test using a small water compress is negative. Although it should be avoided in patients who have a history of serious symptoms treatment. Due to the rarity of aquagenic urticaria, oh, there is very limited data regarding the effectiveness of individual treatments. To date, no large-scale studies have been conducted. Unlike other types of physical urticaria where one can avoid the agent that causes the hives, Avoidance of water is not practical. The following treatments, alone or in various combinations. have been used to manage or treat O with variable results, antihistamines, these typically are used as the first-line medical therapy for all forms of urticaria. Those that block H1 receptors, H1 antihistamines, and are non-sedating, such as cetirizine, are preferred. Other H1 antihistamines, such as hydroxyzine, or H2 antihistamines, such as cimetidine, may be tried if H1 antihistamines are not effective. Creams or other topical agents that serve as a barrier between water and the skin, such as petrolatum-based products, These may be used prior to bathing or other exposure to water to prevent water penetration into the skin. Ultraviolet light therapy, also called phototherapy, such as Sorolin's ultraviolet radiation A, PUVA, and ultraviolet radiation B.
have been reported to resolve symptoms of O in a few cases. Omelizumab, an injectable medication typically used for people with severe asthma. This medication has reportedly been tried successfully in a few people with O, due to the lack of strong evidence of the safety and effectiveness of the treatments mentioned above for people with O specifically, those with O should consult with their doctors regarding personal treatment options. Some people with O may not experience improvement of symptoms with medical treatment and may need to rely on minimizing water exposure by limiting bathing time and avoiding water-based activities. And that is it guys this is a medical video regarding the most rarest allergy known to men. Is it possible to be allergic to water hope you all like this video and please don't forget to smash that like button. And you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my next video upload mega mega love shout out to my premier team. Team aspiring and all its very active and supportive members this is why the fact not see you all on my next video thank you for watching.